Welcome back to Who Chose. Um, so today I'm going to talk to you about uh, some issues I've had with the system. It's actually looking a little bit um, bare at the moment because I did a little bit of harvesting of some bok choy uh, that we had in the system a bit earlier today. So I um, also had to remove some of the roots uh, from the pumpkin vine uh, just to free up some space. And uh, yeah, so an issue that I've been having with the system uh, recently is my capsicums. Um, capsicums have actually developed some blossom end rot and um, it's due to a calcium deficiency. Now, it's pretty easy to diagnose the problem, but in a system like this where everything is fed from one reservoir, it's actually not as easy to treat because I don't want to add too much calcium to the system to treat one plant when it will actually throw the balance of the whole system. What I'm hoping is going to happen is that there's actually been an overusage of calcium by the majority of the plants, uh, which actually just is presenting in the capsicum as blossom end rot. Let's have a look at the capsicum. So here you can see um, where the blossom end rot is occurring on the capsicum. Um, and it's on multiple plants as well. And here's some more. So to treat this issue, I've actually uh, upped the amount of calcium in the system. And I'm hoping that this puts a stop to the blossom end rot uh, on the newer forming capsicums. I'll let you know how the ones that are damaged already go and whether they can be saved. I'll also have to monitor the system for uh, signs that the other plants are getting too much calcium. Uh, and this is just another one of those teething issues going forwards with this experiment. Uh, this is probably one of the reasons why people stick to fruiting plants and leafy greens in separate systems. Uh, and I'm glad that I could find that out for myself. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Alrighty. See you next time.